Hi guys, how are you all doing? We're, Hi we're, guys, we're back with welcome YouTube back video. to another YouTube video. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna be talking about two sided. Yeah. Um, yep, two sided. Um, this will be this will be in a series where we 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 talk about every every cast we're on. And uh, today we're gonna be starting with starting with first very first one, and not like isn't it like the sixth um two sided. Okay. So the first side starts this beautiful thing off. Um, what's the history behind this? Uh, so the first side was me listening to Happy by Mudvayne and playing around with my guitar and stealing the chord progression basically and then just having it in a weird tuning so that it would be kind of cool and then I recorded it really badly and programmed the drums. <laughs> what was the tuning? I don't I'm remember. Genuinely con I, I genuinely don't remember, and I don't really care enough to. Did, did, hold on. Did you, like, go to a tuning that exists, or did you just random tune uh, it? Just random. random just random. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Next question. Um, well, I, I don't know why I didn't, I didn't ask this first, but what's the history of this album? Two-sided? Like, um... what's, like, how how this become a thing? I don't really remember, because we made The Apocalypse like a year before, and then we just kind of gave up on music for a second, and then we just started making music again, when I did all the really bad music videos for The Apocalypse in the following year, uh, and then I don't, I honestly don't really remember, I remember uh, that I listened to Let Go a lot, because I was really happy with that song. And, was that uh, the first one made? Yes, yes it was actually. I don't know how you made the best song on the album first, but all right. <laughs> yeah. I'm um, well, speaking yeah, that, that, of that's it. speaking of how the how how the flippity flap ha, uh, did you make let go? Uh, I pl I basically just took my uh, MIDI controller keyboard and then just play it around until I found that cool little riff, that like synth riff. And then I repeated it. I copy and pasted it like a lot, a lot. <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right. About the MIDI keyboard here. All right. So your name is Casio, right? It was not a Casio keyboard. No. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> this make this makes me very sad. <laughs> you see, I have a Casio keyboard. I'm I'm an intellectual. I have always been inside your home, Violet. I'm inside your home right now. <laughs> You're like under my bed. The I'm, inf I'm inside your home right now. I I'm see. in your closet. True You're friends not reference. My closet. my closet doors are off. I would know if you're in my closet. I'm not six feet tall. I'm tiny. You're, you're not. You're not six feet tall. All right, let's Wait get back on track, shall we? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um. Did you guys? Oh, I'll wait for that. Actually, pneumonia. How'd this exist? <laughs> I was mad at COVID and made a really bad song about it to express my inner angst. What was this still in the era where you thought it was fake? Yes, yes, it was. <laughs> it's pneumonia. pneumonia. All right, continue. I have a... Wait, wait, wait. Is pneumonia about how COVID is actually just pneumonia and people are overreacting? Yes. Because that... <laughs> to, to, that... To, to clarify, uh, science, it wasn't, it wasn't a thing uh, that, I, that I was aware of <laughs> back then. It's... Guys, it's pneumonia. It's pneumonia. Um, it's just pneumonia, guys. You're not going to die. Stay with me. Yep. Now, this one, I have a few questions. Oh, no. For one, how was this produced at all? Like on the remastered version, was it was it touched? Well, on the remastered version, I know it was touched a little, but no, the original. <laughs> but the original. What do you mean? Like the original before the remaster? Did was there like any production at all? No. <laughs> awesome. It was, it was just terrible. <laughs> um. Uh, do the lyrics mean anything? <laughs> no. 
I don't know what Amoro means. Amaro! Yeah. <laughs> um, personally, I would say that's one of the best songs of all time. Um, <laughs> follow. You know, I'm not I'm talking about. I'm not talking about "Stay with Me," although that is truly a 10 out of 10 would listen <laughs> again. Um, follow. Uh, is are you someone that I should follow? The I want to know what this is about. I want yeah, to know what. All yes, this yes, you guys should all follow me. In, uh, yeah, in, follow in, us in, on Instagram. In, in, in Bala, of course. Yeah. Follow us on Instagram. Please be follow sure to like, comment, the... and share. Like, comment, share. Hit the subscribe button. <laughs> like, just share to all your friends. Why am I alive? To like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the newest upload. Hey guys. That's that's that's, that's, that's what follow is about. Is, is it literally about why you're alive? <laughs> no! No, it's, it's about, um... <laughs> I think it was about Joe Biden. <laughs> Someone I should follow! Yeah. I can't, even, I can't even hit those notes anymore. I can't either. <laughs> That's why I don't play that live. Not, not that it's well, bad well, or anything. Yeah, definitely not that bad. Yeah. Now this is getting a little bit of a sidetrack because this is a bit uh, later in career, but um, it's the prompts that came back. I won't change my profile because I don't wanna. But it, it does the prompts that came back. Is that was that a sub? Was that the real cover of it? Was that gonna be the real name? No, <laughs> no we don't talk about that. <laughs> Got it. All right, back to back to being cited. Yes, please. What does what um away? Uh, so, like, two things. One, what, two, why. I don't know what Away is about, and I don't know why it exists. The only one. I see that you enjoy this one for no reason. I think, uh, why? I, I think uh, the, well, the original is absolutely horrendous. The, the, the new one is actually not bad. Because the audio team saved my vocals. <laughs> It's the only one about the uh, human being that I won't drop because that's rude. Uh, yeah, that was about this uh, this one girl that I was in love with. Got it. That I definitely did not make 15 albums about, or, or 20. 37. Thir yeah, exact. 37 albums. Um, not yet. You see, this uh, this one I know a bit of history on. Yeah. Uh, so not yet. Not yet was a was a song that I made for a school project about a growth mindset. Yeah, I I, I will proudly say that I got a sixty eight on the assignment because I didn't do a reflection and just made the song. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, that's awesome. Yeah. All right, but you said yourself that this was a filler song that you just kind of put in there as filler. Yeah. My question is, why why would you make it a single and why would you make a music video for it? Cause I want I needed to make a, mu a music video for the project. Oh, there oh yeah, to be a true. Video. Yeah, there needs so to be a video. So it kind of had to be a single. Yeah. Okay. That makes a lot more sense actually now that I think about it. Um, but could you hear me out on this one? Oh, Unlisted the video and just showed it, and yeah, then that's true. not, and then it could have been a deep cut and not a single. Yeah, that's true. Then again, this is 2020 you. You don't, probably don't think that much about stuff you do. Messed up. Um, hey guys, we're back. Um, I accidentally dipped, so we, we're gonna re-record this a little. Um, two-sided. Oh, right. The title track. Like, um, track. this references follow. It that's, does reference follow. That, that's all. Why? I can, that's all I can say about it. Why? Was there a reason that you named the entire album this? No. <laughs> Did you? Was the song or the album title first? Ah, uh, the song. Got it. Um. Let's see here. The blood mine. Yes, the this one, This is the only one that I can say has a really good riff. I wish it was used for a better song. <laughs>
the the riff is insane though. Just has really bad production. Uh, Isn't this so well? I wouldn't call it insane. I'd call it tolerable. <laughs> Common cast L. Okay. Also, uh, next one. No, 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 one more question about it. Isn't it, isn't, isn't this literally just grr, 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 I hate you cause I, cause I don't like you, grr, grr, grr? Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's awesome. The second side. This one is truly <laughs> beautiful. Yeah, this it's... song, this song really hits, hits home for me. I, I think it's, it's a really beautiful track. Um, it's, uh, it's actually, it's actually 13 minutes long. And it's, uh, yeah. it's, uh, it's, it's a, uh, the In Light of Recent Events title track references it. Uh, it's, it's really, yeah. it's a really beautiful track. It really means a lot to me. Um, yeah, the second yeah. side is just very emotional. It's a great way yeah, to close off the album. I actually can't, um, I'm pretty sure Stevie T really likes that one. Oh, does he? I'm, I'm, I'm sure he does. Yeah, but Stevie he also T probably likes kids. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. He's probably like Jonas Malloy. He's probably like Jonas Malloy. Yeah. Um, since we're here and it's an EP, uh, the apocalypse. Nope, nope, nope. We're done. Thanks for watching, guys. None. <laughs> how, how I feel? <laughs> we got, we covered this in the first one. But 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 how I feel? But bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe.